Hey guys, just showing a real-time scan with the Trios 5 here with the mod retractors. Uh, we're doing a maxillary scan, and what I like to do for that, the retractors are in place, I like to get the attached tissues first. That includes the crest of the ridge and the palette, starting in the rugae and then going into the hard palette of wall and then to the vibrating line back there with the start of the soft palette. What's cool about color scanning is you can see the change in color, you can see the capillaries, the blood supply, you can see minor salivary glands. Then I go ahead and do a hemi scan of the borders with the mod retractors in place. We're going to have an extended border here with the tissues stretched tautly. Um, and this is going to allow us to see the muscle attachment to the ridge if we're designing on this mucostatic scan. Something that I think is really uh, important to note is that if you are designing on a scan, intraoral scan, you need to adjust your design parameters appropriately to have uh, border retention. We typically go back and add a little bit of pressure to those areas. Okay, now that I have the one side, I'm going to go to the hamular notch of the contralateral side. Retractors are in place. They go all the way back to the hamular notch. They push the buccal fat pad out of the way, and you're going to see our uh, buccal frenums are going to be uh, stretched from the buccinator muscle there. And we're going to go all the way up into the anterior zone, which is kind of a tricky spot. And we're going to get that extended as well. And that, in a nutshell, is going to be our maxillary scan. Usually the maxillary scans are a little bit easier than the mandibular scans, but our mandibular retractors are unrivaled when it comes to being able to get scans. So let me show you that. Okay, so now we're going to go down to the mandible. And the way it works with the mandible is there's one, uh, one handle for the right, and then we have a left. And so we're going to go ahead and do the patient's left first. And we start the midline and go all the way up to the retromolar pad and into the retromylohyoid fossa. Now, the way the retractors work is that these uh, retractors are stretching the tissues in the tongue in such a way that it prevents buccal and lingual movement, which means that we can recapitulate the scan. In other words, since the retractors are so good at getting those tissues um, stable, look at nothing is moving, you actually are literally able to go back and take your time and get things um, as needed. Even that buccal frenum, that labial frenum has not moved right there. And that's what's key because once you have movement, it's the kiss of death for stitching these images together. And then you get things like lightning bolts and folds upon folds. And so if you're training your team, they, they need to have the proper tools to be able to do these scans. And look at, we're even able to go back to the retromylohyoid fossa and repick that up. It is in Insane. So once we get the one side, we're going to then switch the tips on the retractors. The mod comes with interchangeable tips for right and left side. And you're going to click out the left tips, pop in the right tips, and that's what I'm doing right now. And then we're going to go ahead and do the other side starting kind of at the midline. So let's just take a look at that. So we're going to start right back there. Pick that right back up. There's, there we have it. We got a little bit of pickup, and now we can go to town. And this is difficult. Um, you're talking about doing one of the hardest things, maybe besides a bloody open suture or bone scan for an all x prosthetic. This is the next hardest thing right here. And a little bit more critical, because with those scans, all we need is tissue, and we're doing photogrammetry or grammetry to get the implant positions. But with this, we're actually needing to have an accurate scan of the tissues. Um, so we're able to go and recapitulate back down that ridge and look at this scan. This is insane how much detail we've been able to capture in such a short amount of time. Um, and this is what the mod retractor is able to do years in the making. I'm so excited to be finally releasing it for you guys.